In this session we'll talk about the Visichron architecture. Visichron consists of three main applications, the server, the client and the tray client. The core of these applications is the Visichron server. This is the application that executes all your jobs and tasks. The Visichron server is installed as a Windows service and runs in the background. As it runs in the background, it requires no user interaction at all, and it will auto start when Windows starts. The Visicron client is used for configuring the actual server. The Visicron client can connect remotely or locally to the server in order to configure or monitor anything within the client. The Visicron client is accessible from the desktop, start menu and the tray client. Unlike the server, it has a graphical interface which allows you to see all your jobs, configure them and bring back results from uh, jobs. So you can anytime execute on the output column for example to view the output from the previous task. To configure the server, you need to connect to the machine where the Visicron server is installed. And as we said, this can be done remotely or locally. And you can be connected to multiple machines at the same time and configure them. You can copy jobs and tasks between the servers. The third part is the Visicron tray client. It runs in the system tray and all starts when the user logs in. There are different kind of functions that comes with a tray client. First it gives you quick ac access to the Visicron client because you can double click on the tray client and it will start the Visicron client. Also it will notify you about events, for example when a job has been completed. So when I start this job we will get this notification that the job has been started and the job has been completed. Also, another functionality of the tray client is to execute foreground tasks. Foreground tasks are tasks that require user interaction. They could be recording mouse movements and keystrokes. That can't be done from the Visicron server but needs to be executed from the foreground. And the fourth part is the programming interface called the Visicron API. This gives you full access to all Visicron information. And this could be useful if you're programming your own interface and want to integrate your application with Visicron closer 